decided that we will go towards uh, Kiranilveri which is uh, very well known for a temple and uh, the bus routes from Kanyakumari to Tiranavali is not very frequent and hence uh, the option that was suggested to us was that we take a bus from Kanyakumari to Vadacheri which is around 20 kilometers and from Vadacheri the frequency of the buses to Tiranavali will be much higher and hence uh, we are taking this uh, journey. We have reached Tirunelveli temple and this is the view around the temple. We must hurry up inside as the temple will close by 12.30 pm. If you are carrying a luggage, don't worry, there is a clock room right opposite the temple where you can keep the luggage and finish the darshan. This is the entrance of the temple surrounded by many shops. Just look at the wooden architecture on the ceiling as we enter this temple. As per the history, it is said that the original complex was built by Pandyas in around 7th century and while the present masonry addition was done by Cholas, Pallavas, Cheras and the Madurai Nayaks. The carvings then I must say looks really in a very good shape. This temple also has a shrine of Lord Vishnu in reclining pose along with Lord Shiva and Parvati. Look at the life-size sculptures that adorn the walls of these pillars. That's the huge Nandi statue as this is a Shiva temple. A monthly cleaning activity is currently going on. The unique feature of this temple is the Mani Mandapam located near this Nandi Mandapam with two giant pillars carved out of a single stone and each one having 48 sub pillars which produce musical notes when struck. This magnificent temple spread across 14 acres of land is well known for its Dravidian style architectural with five gopurams, musical pillars, thousand pillared mandapam, copper dance hall, huge temple tank and Lord Armugam statue, temple chariot etc. A poor Brahmin named Veda Sharma had collected paddy grains by begging to offer them as offering to the Lord and spread them for drying. It started raining very severely and Veda Sharma pleaded to the Lord to save the paddy grains. Lord Shiva saved the paddy grains by forming a fence and hence he is known here as Nelliappar, one who saved the paddy grains and the town is known as Tirunelveli. Nel is the Tamil word for paddy grain and Veli is for the fence. Tirunal Veli also is one of the five places where Lord Shiva is said to have displayed his dance and all these places have the stages or what we call as emblems. Tirunal Veli has the Tamira emblem or the copper stage. The architectural marvel of these uh, temples, especially in South India, cannot be described by any words or you know cannot be captured through any medium. It has to be witnessed. And uh, I must say, especially, uh, this is also the first time I'm traveling to this uh, belt uh, of Kanyakumari and, uh, you know, Ramesh from Madurai. And what I've really heard is, you know, the temples, you know, they are really only known for uh, temples at uh, these places. So I will uh, definitely uh, share some uh, pictures and uh, videos on the scene. And whenever possible, just make up your mind and uh, maybe cover this belt for yourself and uh, witness this marvelous uh, beauty which the mankind has uh, created. And one more interesting thing which I, I kind of, you know, during the travel we observed was, you know, these temples were built by, you know, the Cholas or the Pandyas uh, dynasty. You find many temples, but the question that remains is, why not the palaces? Why didn't the kings build the palaces? And if uh, anybody knows about it, I would love to uh, hear uh, from you. If you have liked the information, please do not forget to subscribe and share the link with others. Thank you.